on all the on all the cars on TV there you see um, we usually get them cleaned down to bare metal and then you, after that you don't get to see the body work and the paint but every car that we do we uh, we sandblast it when we're done and the reason I say we sandblast it when we're done is because I do not want to sandblast something I'm not keeping I would never get inside of a car and sandblast it clean and then cut the floor out of it after I spent that time sandblasting I would never do that I make sure that we cut them apart we weld them up and then we sandblast them and clean them all up and fix anything um, for to me um, for someone to <laughs> you know to sandblast something that you're not going to fix I don't know doesn't seem right I guess seems like you're wasting but for me, um, this is what I do. And this is what we have to sandblast. Um, I bought this when I was a very young man. Um, when I had some money, I knew that what I was doing or what I was going to do. I was going to try to start doing body work. I bought this tool, the very first thing. It's a four-cylinder John Deere diesel uh, screw, sandblast, or screw sandblaster. And um, I've repaired it at one time. It's probably I've had this for probably 10 or 15 years, um, and I sandblast every car that we do here with this. I sandblast every car. Um, right now, it's going to be started up for the first time in a long time, and I'm going to plug it in for a while to warm it up. <sighs> it's diesel, and it likes to be loved. So, yeah, so I'll just leave that alone for a bit. I might get a charger and put on it, but it's a four-cylinder John Deere diesel. Um, got the hose there and have a little sandblaster. I bring over everything over here and we'll sandblast it. Uh, right now, I'm I'm, I'm kind of hot and hot and bothered to do some sandblasting. That's hard to believe. I feel hot and hot and you know hot to do some sandblasting. But this weekend, um, we've acquired or traded and done some trading, horse trading stuff for this fountain. And if you can picture it, this is the bottom. If you can picture it. This is the bottom. This piece here goes on top of this. This is a fountain now. And then the young, the young boy that I don't know if I can pick up myself fits in top of this. And the young boy is holding this with these broken arms I'm gonna fix. Holds this on top, so so if you can picture it, it's going to be, it's probably going to be like eight feet tall, probably. And something like that, um, it's not something I'm looking for, but when I seen it, Earl had it, a uh, friend of ours, man, I'll trade you, you know, I, we, we enjoy that. We'll sandblast it, I'll take it in and repair it, and that sort of stuff. Got some wheels we picked up over the weekend, I'll sandblast those, and a whole bunch of stuff. Oh yeah, I want to show them something else too. I told you I didn't need all this big gear, but you want to see the drill press that we acquired. <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to say this, the price was right and that's why we acquired it. Um, this drill press will, it'll be here long after we're gone, if you know what I'm trying to say. Long after we're gone. Um, that's a behemoth. Well, that's a piece of history right there. I might make a little roof here and, and maybe have some of this stuff outdoors because it, it'll last outdoors. That's quite a machine. That thing will punch holes until the end of time. Awesome. Love it. Love it. Anyways, that's a few things that we have acquired over the weekend. Um, I'm really excited about the fountain. I'm just kind of, yeah, that's cool. Um, we'll get her together and we'll show you what it looks like. My amies. You need a big house for big gear. And this is my house. <laughs> That's where you stay outdoors. I might have to put a roof up or something, but yeah. Can't wait. Alrighty. I'm going in and go to work. Me and Jolene going to go to work. Just showed you all our goodies that we've acquired. We've got we got a heart for the for the engine or for the 40 Plymouth in there, I think. That's going good. Um, I've acquired some pieces that'll help me put it together. Man. I tell you, stuff like that, and just stuff like that, um, and then going in and working on something, 
I feel like I am living my dream. You know what I mean? I really enjoy playing with history and making things. I just I really like it. Um, I hope you all like it and have just as good a time as I do. Oh yeah, I want to show you something else too. Come on, you know, I want to show you something else. Sense it, show and tell. Look at this bad boy. Got this from a, from a new friend in California, Rod Romero. Is it Romero? Rod Romero. Um, he sent this to me. He thought I would use it, and I will. There's some there's some dies up here for it. You can change the dies in in the throat here. Uh, what this is now, what you'll do is you can just loosen that off, disconnect that. I can use whatever die I want to, and I can shove it in on the roof. And if I chop a roof, then I can, you know, if I have a problem there, if anything I, instead of shape, I can use this to doll ear, to stretch it wherever I want, even inside of a fender. Like, this thing's amazing. Like, you can put it inside a fender and do, you know what I mean, and, and roll things out. Um, I can't wait to get somewhere where I can use it, if you know what I'm saying. I don't want to punch on it now. We're all done. But uh, that's quite a tool. And I like this because it's history. You know, it's history. Someone said, use that, and that'll work just as good as... Uh, I can't wait to use it. I cannot wait to use it. That's some of the stuff that we've been picking up that I really enjoy and think a lot of. Ah, another thing we got this weekend, too. Got a 1937 to 40 uh, rear fender. We got that from Skippy. Thank you lots. Thank you very much, Skippy. He brought that fender here. He said, I thought you would use that. And yes, we will. Yes, we will.